Right now, I'm at the site of Wat Pramani, where for a small fee, you can have an opportunity to die and then be resurrected to life with a fresh life. As you can see, you pay a small fee, you lie down in this big coffin, and then monk chants over you, and then presto, you're born again. Is this a real resurrection though? After the monk says a prayer, the worshippers climb into one of the pink coffins. The monk says another prayer. They lie down on their backs. They close their eyes and a shroud covers over the coffins. They are now officially dead. The monk chants a funeral dirge as if you're actually dead. And then behold, it's time for a resurrection. The shroud uncovers and you see the light of day. The monk changes his song to one of celebration. Can you believe this? No, really. Can you believe this? The worshipper has resurrected. He was dead and is alive again. All of this for less than five dollars. Called Nan Long Sadorkro in Thai. There's a long line of people who want to go through this resurrection ceremony. People come here to be released from their past. They think they are given a second chance at life. They could start all over again. And again. And again. Some of them come to get rid of bad karma. There's a sign that says, don't stand behind the coffin, or else bad karma that's sucked from the dying might pass on to you. So I was told to film from the other side. They hope that this ritual will get rid of bad things they did, mistakes they made. Maybe this would wipe away and bury their sins. They hope this would make them born again. But are you really born again? In order for a real resurrection to take place, first you have to die. <laughs> Not so easy, is it? And the next step's even harder. How are you gonna resurrect? Do you have that kind of power? There's only one person in history who had the power to resurrect himself, Jesus Christ. So if you really want a resurrection, go to the guy who did it first. I'm sure the one who conquered death has the answers to life.